Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live broadcast, take two. Um, this is the second attempt at my live broadcast. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be on my Patreon page. So guys, welcome to Patreon. If you guys haven't been here yet, um, I would love your support. Um, we've got three gold members right now supporting our channel. So thank you to all of you guys, Commodore256, Bash Murals, and uh, Cedric. And I appreciate all of your support. And um, again, your support helps our channel grow. So thank you to all you guys supporting our channel. But uh, in this live stream, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up color profiles in uh, GIMP. And these are CMYK color profiles. And I just did another Hangout, but I'm redoing it. So if you saw that last one, um, I'm just going to kind of go over some concepts again. But um, basically, the reason we have CMYK color profiles is because uh, GIMP is an RGB space. And so everything you see on your screen, all of the colors are in RGB, whereas uh, when you need to print something, uh, like on a piece of paper or on a t-shirt, um, a lot of printers use CMYK. And so RGB stands for red, green, blue. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and key or black. And so uh, basically there is a slight difference between the color uh, profile. So sometimes what you see on your computer screen uh, actually, what usually what you see on your computer screen is going to differ from what you see on uh, whatever you're printing on. So whether that is the piece of paper or the T-shirt. And so I'm going to show you today how to set up the CMYK color profile in GIMP so that you can see um, what your your uh, compositions are going to look like on a CMYK printer before you print. And it's just going to help you kind of get more accurate colors. Um, before you're printing. So this is a pretty useful tool. And again, it's going to correspond with the tutorial I'm putting out later today, which is how to design a business card in GIMP. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a screen share here. And I'll go ahead and hit share. There we go. So I have GIMP 2.10 open and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this in GIMP 2.10. And then time permitting, I may show you guys also how to do this in GIMP 2.8 because it is slightly different. And uh, so the first thing you want to do, go ahead and pull up Google and type, you can see, see all my last uh, searches there. Um, go ahead and type Adobe Color Profiles Download, and I have it here. Go ahead and hit Enter. And right here, you'll see the ICC Profile Downloads for Windows. If you're using a Mac, go ahead and uh, click on the Mac one. It'll probably pop up automatically as Mac. So go ahead and click on that. And uh, right here under which type of user are you, go ahead and choose ICC profile download for end users. And this is free by the way, so you, you don't have to pay for it. Um, go ahead and click accept for all the terms there. And then that'll take you to the profile download. And it does tell you which profiles are RGB profiles and then which ones are the CMYK profiles. So go ahead and check all those out. Um, and then you've also got some installation instructions down here if you're not sure how to install this completely, but pretty much all you need to do is click proceed to download and click download now. And this is going to download a zip file to your computer and then go ahead and click show in folder. And right now this is in my downloads folder. I'm going to right click on this and go to extract all. And this is going to extract those color profile files to my computer, to my downloads folder. Go ahead and click extract. And uh, now you guys will see in my downloads folder, I've got all of my Adobe uh, ICC profiles. So uh, I'll go ahead and close all that down and bring up our GIMP page here. And so basically what I need to do now is tell GIMP uh, where to find these CMYK color profiles because GIMP only has RGB profiles built in. So we'll go to Edit, Preferences, and right here we have Color Management. And so this is where it differs uh, or begins to differ from 2.8. But uh, in 2.10, you've got an area called Soft Proofing here. If you're using GIMP 2.8, you basically will just have the RGB CMYK and then another color profile. I forget what it is, uh, but I'll show you guys in a second. Actually, I think it's right here. 
Um, so this is basically what it looks like in 2.8. But in here you have the soft proofing option. And so basically what you want to do, uh, soft proofing again, is the ability to preview your images under a CMYK color profile, which is basically how the colors are going to look if you're trying to print, uh, at least on a CMYK printer. And so go ahead and click on this drop down and go to select color profile from disk because you guys probably won't have any color pro profiles in here. And now if you're using Adobe, I've got this already in the Adobe file uh, destination, but basically click on your C drive if you have Adobe Photoshop, then go to or uh, Illustrator installed. So go to um, your C drive, click on the program files x86 or times 86. Then go to uh, Common Files, Adobe, and then go to Color, Profiles, and Recommended. And now you'll see all of those color profiles here. And if you need to uh, go back and see what color profiles were RGB versus CMYK, just go back to that page uh, before your Adobe Downloads page. But here you've got a bunch of color profiles, and so I'm just going to choose the U.S. Sheet Fed Uncoded for now. Go ahead and hit Open, and now that will be set up as our soft proofing color profile. So whenever we preview, um, sorry, I'll exit that out. Whenever we preview our image as a CMYK image, that'll now show up uh, for this color profile, which is CMYK. And then we can come over here to Preferred Profiles. And you can again um, choose that sheet fed uncoded that we just selected. Or I'll show you real quick if you don't have Adobe. Um, I'll go to my downloads folder. And here we have our color profiles here, end user. And then this is already separated into CMYK and RGB. And then here you have all of your options here. And um, it looks like these are slightly different than, oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, this doesn't say sheet fed uncoded. So um, this is US web uncoded. Uh, and then you've got coded over here. So you've got a variety of different profiles. I would look up what these are and see how they match whatever it is you're trying to do. But I'll just choose this coded uh, GRA uh, 2006 for now. Click open. And uh, my computer's trying to update. Uh, but yeah, so what this option now does is whenever you have a CMYK image that you're bringing into GIMP, now it will be assigned to this CMYK profile as opposed to you always needing to convert it to an RGB profile. So now you'll have this option, which is pretty useful. So go ahead and click OK. And now I'll go to uh, File Open. I'm just going to open up an image. And let's see, I'll just open up this Sunrise image that I used before. So this is what your sunrise, uh, this is what your photo or just photos in general look like in an RGB color space in GIMP. This is the default color space. But let's say you were going to print this image onto a piece of paper or onto a t-shirt or something and you want to see what it looks like with a CMYK color profile. Just go to view, color management, and check this proof colors box uh, or option I should say. And this is what your image is going to look like in a CMYK profile. So it does look slightly different. And uh, this is different from GIM 2.8. And I'm going to show you guys that in a second. And hopefully we don't have any issues there. But you can always toggle this off again by going to View, Color Management, Proof Colors. So there you have it. And I'm going to go ahead and close this down now and see if I can pull up GIM 2.8 and show you guys how to do it in GIM 2.8 because it is slightly different in there. All right, so here we have GIMP 2.8 open, and you can go to uh, Edit, Preferences again, and here we have Color Management, and so you'll see here the options are slightly different, and um, we'll go ahead and choose the CMYK profile, and these were the two profiles that we used in GIMP 2.8, but you can find them the same way by either going to your downloads uh, folder and then coming in here or you can go through and find your uh, CMYK color profiles if you have uh, any Adobe products installed. Um, so this one I'll just use 
the US web coded swap. And you can, by the way, mark out of gamut colors. And what that means is any colors that won't show up on RG or uh, CMYK uh, printers will be grayed out with this color and you can change that color so we can make this like a bright color if we wanted to. It'll go ahead and click OK. And let's see if we can open up another image in here and test this out. So here is our RGB image again. And then view, display filters. This is where um, GIMP 2.8 is different. So remember in uh, GIMP 2.10, there was a color management option here. So in 2.8, you have view, display filters. And then you can come down here and now you have a color management filter and you can add that over here by clicking this green arrow. And I've already got this added. Um, oh, and sorry, it's actually the color proof option. So you choose color proof, add that over, and you click on color proof. And now it's gonna ask you to choose a profile and you can choose that profile you chose in the last option, or you can always uh, select a different profile from your computer. And now uh, this changed while we were doing that. And this is what it'll look like with this color profile. And I can toggle this off and then click OK if I don't want to preview it right now. Otherwise, I can toggle that back on and we can just always keep the CMYK color preview uh, active. And in this case, I'll just turn it off. And let me switch off my screen share here. Let's see if I can do that. There it is. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Um, this is going to uh, play a pretty, uh, I don't want to say insignificant role, it'll play a small role in the how to design a business card um, tutorial I'll be putting up later today, this evening. But it is uh, something very useful for you guys who want to properly print your uh, compositions that you're making in GIMP and you want to be able to preview, preview what your colors are going to look like before you print them. So it is um, pretty important. And it's good for you guys who work a lot in print. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Davies Media Design. You can also visit our uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Davies Media Design, and our website at daviesmediadesign.com slash tutorials. Um, but thank you for everybody who's already supporting us on Patreon and supporting us by watching our uh, YouTube videos and subscribing to our channel and really just supporting us in any way. So thank you guys again, and uh, we'll see you next time.